this is really the last house album I will ever do. I've decided to stop because it's time. I think I've done enough for myself in the last 12 years. I think I've created a nice package of a discography that says this is what I can do in house. And I mean, there's only 13 notes. How many times can I recreate the same 13 notes? I want to leave something that matters to me and not just um, do what's expected. And so it's, it's just time. Well, the album Pyrography was basically, it started out and it was, um, it was a different title. It was called The Sacred Triad, which was um, an album about a relationship that I was in. So most of those songs kind of, the songs are basically about um, relationships. The title Pyrography came because I wanted to make this about the entire package, including the art. I think music and art are so closely related because they are the same thing. It's the same energy. Growing up, um, being introduced to music and buying vinyl and a kid at the record store, I would, you know, look at vinyl. I didn't know the music, but the art was, you know, the, the cover was so amazing. I would go, well, this is so incredible. The music has to be equally as good. So that's the idea for me in, in uh, music and art, the, the, the joining of the two. I discovered Scott's work via one of the artists from the label, Izel. I just received an email with one image and he was like, I know you'll love this. And it, immediately it was like, whoa, it spoke to me. Horography is the very simple process of burning images. A modern day caveman, I would call myself. How long it takes me to create an image? That's a tricky one because it's not necessarily just going to the studio and starting to create a work on the paper. I have to uh, source my pigments from the bush. The colors I've used is what we call ochre in Australia which is basically a stone that I uh, collect from the rivers and yeah, grind down. And the black here is a plane tree uh, and I cook the branches and make charcoal. The idea is I tend to just get a flash in my head of, of the image, then I just desperately try to catch up with that, that image in my head. You know, this one here clearly is a lot more work involved. I think that took me two weeks, basically, where something like this, upwards of a week. The Yoruba deities are, they, they're all forms of nature. This is actually the um, image used for the single, uh, idiosyncrasy. In Yoruba, twins are a big, big, big thing. They are um, understood to be very powerful because you have two bodies from one seed. Idiosyncrasy is, uh, I worked on this album three years, pretty much, and that was the song that to me was the the middle point where I was like, okay, now the album's, you know, I've had other songs, like now I can put it together. That to me is my, if Kraftwerk made a funky song today, that would be kind of what it would be for me. The whole idea of the album was to do something that was electronic, more electronic than the usual albums, as well as more songs. The main project that I'll be working on next will be with Ocean Lade. Um, again, we don't really know the form, but we know the crux of it. And that's the best way to go about it, really, because it's going to be a lot more organic. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm going to continue DJing and touring. That is questionable. It's kind of, it kind of goes with the last house record thing. I have no idea what's next. I embrace whatever.